Hello everybody, welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel, Walkabout Wednesday, a very special Walkabout Wednesday, but before I explain it all to you, may I say if you are brand new here to the channel, welcome along, you are very welcome. Please help a little channel grow a little bit bigger by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification tab, it costs you nothing to do that apart from one second of your time and it really does help a little channel grow. Now, on this particular YouTube channel, we have a different theme every single day. And the video today, in fact, could have fitted into Tourist Tuesday, or it also could have been on Transport Thursday. But I decided to keep it on Walkabout Wednesday because it's a video about me just going shopping. But I'm going shopping in Japan, and you do things a little bit differently in Japan. And uh, for the people that haven't been to Japan before, I know you all know that Japan has a fantastic public transport system and that they have very fast trains, bullet trains, otherwise known as the Shinkansen. But until you have been to Japan, you honestly don't understand how quick and efficient they are. You think you know, but trust me, you don't. And quite simply, I was in Osaka. I woke up in the morning. I went for something to eat. I was walking around Osaka. The sun was shining and I thought, oh, I saw something in Hiroshima, which is a long way away. I might as well go to the shop and buy it. Now, if I would have taken a car to Hiroshima, it would have taken me non-stop driving four and a half hours in each direction, so it would have been a nine-hour day driving. By catching the Shinkansen, not only could I just arrive at the train station, and there's a train every few minutes, but it took me just over an hour to get there. And in fact, if you listen to the video at the very beginning of the video, you'll hear the announcement on the train, and you'll hear that my train stopped at every single stop. It wasn't even an express train. An express train is even quicker. See, they have three sorts of trains there. They have the super express, they have the limited express, and then they have the one more that I had, which is stop every stop. Anyway, if you don't like trains, don't worry, hang in there because it's not all about trains. It is literally my day as we go out and about. So we start in Osaka, you see a bit of the train ride, then we arrive at Hiroshima, and uh, you see the city and some trams and everything. We go up to the shops, I buy what I wanted to buy, I spend the day there, I go back to the Shinkansen, we head back to Osaka, and then we end the video with me being back in Osaka while the sun is still in the sky. It is an amazing country, seriously. If you wanna know any information about Japan, the Shinkansen or anything, please leave it in the comment box below. Or if you've done the trip yourself, Leave a comment down there as well and let everybody know, in fact, your thoughts about it all. Is it as easy as what I tell you it is? Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Enjoy the video today as uh, we travel, well, on the Shinkansen to Hiroshima and then back to Osaka. So leaving Osaka now, spot on time. Uh, an hour and 20 minutes, we'll be in uh, Hiroshima. speed once we uh, get out of the city area. Come on, 
車は8両編成です。
we know the trains run on time. It's 11.31. We're going to arrive at 11.34. So a quick tour of the train. In between the carriages, you've got a payphone, a man's urinal. You have normal toilets, disabled toilets, a washroom. Now, we can't talk in the carriage, but we'll walk through here because there's something else. And vending machines. And you have smoking rooms. And they also have a trolley service going through the carriages and serves uh, hot drinks, cold drinks, food as well. So by the time you're boarded and had your breakfast, you're in the next city. So 11.32, two minutes time, we'll be at our location only an hour and 20 minutes until to get here, which is really the, the time you would spend on your local train in your local city. It is exactly on time 11.34. is it stops right in the heart of whatever city you're going to so literally you walk out the gate you start shopping or exploring so that's how easy it is it's really relaxing we're back in uh, Hiroshima now and I'm going to do the shopping that I wanted to get we're going to spend a couple of hours here have a little bit of lunch do the shopping then jump back on the Shinkansen and go back to Osaka which will take another hour and 20 minutes to get back which means we will have the afternoon to explore Osaka super duper easy give it a go anyway shopping time I'll um I'll take a, a few little shots and that as we go along to show you my day
12 o'clock, I've got two and a half hours here now. I've arrived at my shop, so I'm going to do the shopping, have something to eat before heading back to the Shinkansen. So the shops that we're going to are simply just here across the road. And we'll see you inside. Ta-da! Yes, we've come all this way to buy train stuff. And this is what we're buying on special for only 4,800 yen. Woohoo! So we done our shopping, 
Oh, we did a lot of shopping. Now we've got a couple of hours uh, remaining, so we get something to eat, maybe a drink. Go for a little walk, maybe do some more shopping before we take the Shinkansen back to Osaka for the afternoon. So we'll still have all afternoon. Well, we had some lunch, we had some KFC, because when you're in Japan, well, better food to eat than KFC. Uh, and we now got loads of time, not bustly, before the train leaves. So we're going to do some more shopping. We're heading to Tower Records, because I want to buy something there. Again, all really relaxed. And we catch the Shinkansen, back to Osaka, all relaxed, drop off our shopping, spend the afternoon in Osaka. So the point to this video anyway, in case you haven't guessed it is, you don't have to stay at each individual city in Japan. You can set yourself up at one place like Osaka and do day trips because the trains are so good, so efficient, uh, so quick that you can literally go out for the day to a different region um, and just go back in the afternoon or, or, or evening. Uh, the earlier you leave, the longer you could spend in a in a place. If uh, if we wanted to, uh, I could stay another four, five, six hours here in uh, Hiroshima before heading back to Osaka. But literally, I've just come down here for a bit of lunch, which I've had to do some shopping, which I wanted to do. And I want to spend the afternoon back in Osaka. Unless you've experienced the um, Shinkansen, the bullet train in Japan, it's really hard for you to grasp, uh, especially if you come from a city like mine, where uh, somebody says, look, you can go to another prefecture, another city for the day or just for a few hours and head back. In your brain, without knowing the bullet train, you think that it's too hard, it's illogical. By the time you get there, it's gonna be late. So you have to turn around and go back. Uh, so this is just proof that, you know, it, it is different here, it does work here, and you can. It, if I really wanted to in the afternoon, I could go uh, to Tokyo. I'd go back to Osaka, drop off the shopping, go to Tokyo, and then get back to Osaka. The bullet trains are that efficient and that good that I can travel all that distance in a day really easy and not be uh, stressed whatsoever. Oh no, I've spent more money. I've also been to Tower Records and we're going to another shop before we head back to the Shinkansen in this day of just shopping. It's pretty quiet here today. So you can see our train is the red one, the Secura 554 at uh, 2.22. So we're here just a little after two o'clock and um, I actually walked to the Shinkansen. There we go, I was trying to turn the camera around. So I walked back to the Shinkansen so I get to walk through the city and everything uh, and took my time and had a look at all the shops and everything as we went along. Uh, so again, it just proves that uh, you can position yourself in somewhere like Osaka and just head out for the day to different prefectures from Osaka. You can go to Tokyo or, or down here or a million other places. Or you could stay in Tokyo and head out from Tokyo for the day to Osaka or other places as well. It's that simple. So I'll turn the camera around. Turn around camera, thank you very much. iPhone 14 is what we want. And of course, if we were to miss that train, we could just catch another one. You don't have to have a reserve ticket. We've just chosen to have the reserve. When you hear the music, it means a train's coming. So we'll end this video with a train approaching.
question is, what direction is the train going to come from? We've even got our snacks for the train going back. That's how much time we had here. Uh, I'd already done the sightseeing last time I was here, so I didn't need to do any. But if you were sightseeing and not doing shopping like me, you would have had plenty of time here. Track 12, so it's going to come in on this track. That track there. We're not quite sure what side, but we're walking to 7 Eleven. As I say, you can buy snacks on every platform. After the train arrives, I'll leave you. It'll be the end of this video because uh, you don't. Oh, here it comes, so you don't want to see us catching the Shinkansen back to Osaka. Been there, done that. But we'll be back in Osaka by um, by before four o'clock. We'll be back in Osaka by. Thanks for joining me on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment box and we will see you soon. And in fact, just to end the video properly, we are back in Osaka now. It's not even four o'clock. Uh, heading to a different train now to head to Nam, but that's where I'm staying. So hope you enjoyed this video. Just to show you that uh, it is possible and really easy to go to a different prefecture or different city just for the day or even just for a few hours. Why not? See you later. Thank <laughs> you.